Welcome. I'm Grayden, and this is Bin Buster, where I buy, watch, and review budget bin movies for you. Today's movie is a sequel to the review I just did on Monday. You can catch it right here of 28 Days Later. Six months after the original epidemic of this movie, the rage virus has all but annihilated the population of the British Isles. Nevertheless, the U.S. Army declares the danger, Pat, the danger has gone, or passed, and the American soldiers arrive to restore order and begin reconstruction. Refugees return to British soil, but one of them carries a deadly secret. The virus is not gone. It is even more dangerous before, than before. It is 28 weeks later. That's right there. So, like I did with this one, I'm going to give you my good, my bad, my thoughts, and my overall ratings for this sequel to this classic film. This movie starts off completely different than this one. We already knew about the monkeys and everything from this previous movie. This one starts off where it's not slow and steady and somber and you're just trying to get a feel for it. This one has an opening chase scene. Really early. There's a family eating dinner. A kid shows up and goes, hey, 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 please help me. Please help me. My mom and dad have gone crazy and trying to kill me. And they bring him in and all of a sudden these zombies start tearing down the walls and everything. But yeah, yeah. And, and coming after him. To the point where Robert Crane's character leaves his family there and he, he runs to have these guys chase him and he goes into the um goes into a boat and he, as he drives away you see you see him coming in and you see blood going everywhere. <laughs> this gives you a feeling for how the sequel is gonna be. Especially with the speedboat like uh, speedboat scene I was saying. Yeah, he's seen back his wife is there in the window and just kind of fades away, goes away. He thinks she's dead. I love the title sequence that goes from what th is happening in this movie, what happened in this movie, all until now when you get into this movie. It be a simple text box and what is going on. It tells you do, 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 all the way up until 28 weeks later. And it's pretty much what I said in the synopsis. We see that the infected are starving, them, are starving to death. That's why, they're being, that's why they're dead. So the U.S. has, reconstru has done what they call a District 1. A reconstruction of starting over here in the British house and they're bringing people there to start over they're allowed to they live in this huge city area they're allowed to stay there they're not allowed to go past the perimeters that's the only rule with refugees coming back we see a boy with his sister we later find out that he's a Robert Carradine's two kids that he hasn't seen in years because he ran off and left them with their mom left them with their mom and they were split up even there he has two different color eyes he has a brown it's this one he has a brown and a blue eye right there yeah they they make that this is a once in a lifetime difference in it and they ask him who does have it my mom my mom had it but she's dead and so that's what the kid says and they make so much fuss about these eyes, and I'm like, this is something important. Keep your, if you watch this movie, keep your eyes out on that scene. It's going, it's going to be very telling with what's happening in the film. The kids on their second day there are going places where they shouldn't. They go past the boundaries of the district where they find a dead pizza delivery guy, literally, and steals a little scooter and drives to their house because the boy is afraid he might not remember his mom. So they grab pictures, grab a few things, and then there's noises happening. So the boy goes to investigate. They find their mom up there. As she's hugging him, happy to see him, she started squeezing his back and like going on the skin like this with her nails, kind of digging into him. And he's like, you're hurting me, you're hurting me. And then he he comes out, Tammy grabs him, and they're both, She, the mom kind of hides. So they both run out, and then all of a sudden the military's here. They grab the kids, they go out, they're like, anyone else here? Yeah, they said it. So they take the mom to. They kind of quarantine the kids into their own room, and the mom is strapped to this bed. What we find out is that because of her two color eyes, the mom's a carrier for this virus, but she shows no signs of having it. You bring somebody who you just did the blood test to, once there, in there without realizing they're a carrier. What, what's the worst that can happen? I don't know. Let's find out, shall we? So they do this. 
Her husband wants to see it for himself. He sees it. He kisses her. Remember, what the first movie taught us, that a drop of blood or saliva can spread this disease. So Robert Carradine's character kisses his wife, who has two different color eyes, like the kid. Like the kid. Kisses her. He starts going crazy. Ends up killing the wife in a gory scene. Ends up killing the wife. And then kills his way out of the military hospital, too. Oh, like we didn't see this one coming. The uh, Another good part is the pilot played by Herod Perrineau from Lost, from the TV show Lost, if you guys don't know, he's Walt's father in that show. So he uses, he's a helicopter pilot. So he uses his helicopter plates and starts spinning them this way because it's unbalanced. And he starts cutting off some zombies up. That that part was actually pretty cool in the scene that they, when the mass infection starts happening. I like the camera, the way they use the camera in the night vision scope of the guns. When it's dark, it was cool. You kind of can see what they're seeing through the night vision. Especially the kill that was done through that means. It's like they're bashing him in with a with a gun butt. And then every time they they pull it out, you don't see it. They push it in. You see the eyelid through the night vision. And that was kind of cool, in my opinion. Now my bad. As I said, this movie, although good, is a little predictable at times. I knew when the kids were going... I knew the mom wasn't dead when the kids went out and went back into their house. They lock a, uh, They put the mom in there so the husband could do it. I knew the husband was going to kiss her. And then he was going to be the one who gets the disease. Start spreading it around. They locked... Seriously, they locked the civilians in there to in a room to protect him. Robert Kennedy's character shows up in the back door and is so enraged that he breaks down the door, goes in, starts biting people and spewing the blood like in the first one. So thus, infecting more and getting more of these zombie-like creatures in there. You see, this is going in a well-controlled area. And then as a, which leads to the military opening fire, as everyone's trying to escape, they just said, oh, just shoot the infected. Then they're like, we can't tell which ones are which. Like, it, it's getting too close. He's like, then just kill them all. And they just start killing everything. And it's part of their system breaking down. That's kind of predictable. And knowing so well that the two kids are the last two that survive. And it leads it leaves it open for an opening for a third one. Which, it's been 14 years since 28 weeks later. I don't think 28 months later is coming out anytime soon. But it leaves it open. It's an open-ended thing open-ended movie that leaves it open for a sequel if they ever to go that route but i don't think they will why because this one was ha what happened when it first breaks out this one takes the story into a whole nother level i don't know where they would go from here to key to not have it be the same movie again so with this movie i gave this one three stars this one i'm also giving three stars it's a sequel that lives up to the original if you're a fan of sequels that live up to the original, then check out 28 Weeks Later. And remember, comment down below what you thought of this movie. And remember to make it a movie night and to dive right in.